Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. The Moto Z Play, the OnePlus 3T. I'm going to do a comparison, final review type video and answer a question that a lot of you are asking. Should I buy that device? Well, I can never specifically tell you to buy a specific device. I can always give you my opinion based on my experiences, solely on my experiences. Then it's your responsibility to go out and not just watch my videos or read reviews, but read other reviews, watch other reviews on YouTube or wherever you may be watching them. Combine all that information and then you decide what you want to pick up. Write down a list of areas you want met from a smartphone and what areas you could care less about. Do all that homework. And at the end of the day, then you decide. I'm just hoping to be a part of that process when it comes to deciding on what you're going to bring in as your daily driver or as a backup device. I don't know. For me, I have a lot of devices. I, I, I'm excited to um, always bring a new device in and review it and give you my opinions. But again, those are just my opinions and I'm hoping that it helps. Okay, but it, your experiences are never going to be like mine. I have not found anybody out there yet who uses their devices like I do. So, um, again, this is going to be an overview video. If you want to see more in depth, go check out all the other videos I have on these two devices, and you'll see a lot of information in those videos. Um, if I've missed anything, just ask down below in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer what you are asking for. So, Moto Z Play. Let me give you a rundown on this device. I picked it up for $387 because I saved an extra 5% at checkout time, but originally priced at $408. That is, this is the Verizon Unlocked device. There is a GSM AT&T T-Mobile device for about 450 smacks. Again, I got mine for $387, Verizon Unlocked device. This is a glass and metal aesthetic built device, a very tough, durable device. So. The um, metal aluminum frame all around is gold. You got your power button and your volume rocker right there. Okay, and you got your glass front with your fingerprint sensor, your microphone over to the left of that. You got your front facing flash, which I totally dig, an earpiece that doubles up as a speaker, and you got your camera, five megapixel camera there on the front. And you have your Moto logo, your 16 megapixel camera on the back here, and you have dual flash, does not have optical image stabilization. It does shoot video in 4K, but uh, only has 1080p 30 frames per second, does not have 60 frames per second in 1080p. Hopefully when this receives Nougat, because this only has 6.0.1, that will be integrated into the camera software, 60 frames uh, per second uh, as far as the 1080p. That would be awesome. You also have a microphone down on the corner here and your magnetic pins for your mods, glass back. Now, these two items came in box. This is a back plate, and that will magnetically attach itself. And you can get different ones, different styles, custom made, Moto Maker. And I got this for free. I think this is like a 60 to $70 value in Scipio off-grid power pack, 2,220 milliamp battery power pack that when you place on there you'll feel the vibration it lets you know it's there and it has a little lip area here that you can just lift up take off and there's a little light there that actually lights up when it's charged or when it's being active it just went off really quick so I don't know if you caught that or missed it but either way um, Moto Lenovo has really done awesome with modularity they've done it right going forward I'm excited to see what else they're going to have in the near future. So that's really cool. Um, as far as the bottom of this device, you have your USB type C, charging port area, your headphone jack area, and up top you have your SIM tray and another microphone. We can show you that right there. So three microphones and nothing on the left hand side. And we do have a fingerprint sensor here. So we're going to show you this really quick. It's really fast. I'm going to try to stay out of the flash that I got going on here with the Samsung Galaxy J7. Now, um, the OnePlus 3T, all metal, 60 megapixel camera on the back. Got your antenna lines, your flash, your OnePlus logo. At the bottom, you got your speaker grill, USB Type-C charging port, 
a microphone, and your headphone jack. Hopefully you can see all that. On the right hand side, your power button, your SIM tray, volume rocker, your alert slider. If you slide that all the way down, all your notifications are on, all the way up, all notifications off. In the middle, it's priority notifications. Really cool feature to have on this device. Again, all metal unibody on the front. You have your camera, which is a 16 megapixel selfie camera, which is awesome, but I wish it had a flash. Your um, fingerprint sensor down here. Turn that off really quick and fast. Okay. Um, you don't have on screen buttons like the Moto Z Play on the OnePlus 3T. You have them right along the side, right and left of your fingerprint sensor, which doubles up as your home button. You can see that, okay? You can see the on-screen buttons over here. So, yeah. Again, they're both sexy devices, both sporting 5.5 inch displays. You got Optic AMOLED OP3T. You got Super AMOLED on the Moto Z Play, 1080p on both these displays. I'm gonna give the edge to Moto Z because the Super AMOLED on this display is that much more, that much more crisper, sharper, and vivid. The OnePlus 3T does a fabulous, fabulous job. I'm gonna put that in the middle there. There we go. And then you can decide just by what you're looking at right there through this video. So um, that covers the aesthetics. They're both durable, they're both awesome. Um, if I dropped either one of these devices on the ground on cement, the OP3T is going to survive the drop a little more because of the fact that it has the metal body. The Moto Z Play with the glass body, is it's going to bust. It's going to crack that glass body. So, you know, cases, man. I talk about cases, but I understand some of you don't like them. You like your devices naked, but I, cases if you can. Really, I, I, especially with the Moto Z Play. Something I would really think about. So, let's go with to what's underneath the hood. On the Moto Z Play, three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, expandable up to 256 gigs. A Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 running 6.0.1. On the OP3T, six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. Qualcomm Snapdragon 821, it's the latest and the greatest. The original OnePlus 3 only has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. Are you gonna tell the difference? Not really. You do have Oxygen OS 3.5.4. Marshmallow underneath that at 6.0.1, okay? So the average consumer isn't going to tell the difference. This 625 runs as though it was a, an A20. It does, and you re, I mean, it's just phenomenally fast. It's smooth, they both are. They're feathery smooth, silky smooth. You're not gonna go wrong either way as far as that. Um, Let's get into the cameras. I think I already talked about that really quick and briefly. The back camera, 60 megapixel. Front camera on the OP3T, 60 megapixel. Moto Z Play, 16 on the back, five on the front, flash, and OIS, no OIS. 1080p, 60 frames per second, 1080p, 30 frames per second, okay? So hopefully something that, that will get changed with the Nougat update, we'll see what happens there. Um, and they both shoot in 4K. So, USB Type-C, 3510 milliamp battery, 3400 milliamp battery, seven to nine hour screen on time, five to almost six screen on, on times, you know, um, depending on what you're doing. It, 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 there are a lot of areas with connectivity, with your performance, with what you do, what you don't do, whether you're a gamer, not a gamer, you just watch movies, your web browser, it, it, you take all of that, and then you see what you get. But I'm gonna tell you, Battery King right now is the Moto Z Play. Battery King, da 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 da, yeah. Seven to nine hours, I'm getting nine hours moderate time, seven uh, hours when I'm heavy, and I do a lot on my devices. A lot of you that are part of this team already know that I'm always bragging about how much I do. I beat my devices up, I make them work out. So the 3400, um, originally 3000 on the OnePlus 3. Okay, this one is sporting 3,400 milliamp batteries so that you're getting a little more than the OnePlus 3 at 399. Remember, this is the 439 64 gig variant, 
no SD card slot, so no expandable memory. You want to get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, um, almost about six hours screen on time, using it um, moderately, five hours, give or take, um, which is decent if I'm using it really, really heavy. Dash charge, turbo charge, they both are going to give you in about a half hour, 50 to 60%. They're both about equal, give or take. Okay, they both work phenomenally awesome when it comes to fast charging. These devices, whether it's Dash or whether it's Turbo, I don't know, man, I just plug it in and I'm hoping to get enough juice to finish out my day if it's really needed, but I really don't need to. Um, so there we go. There is the overview. So you're saying to yourself, well, which device should I buy then? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. If it's me and I love my OP3T, super stoked to have the OnePlus as my first OnePlus device. Um, interesting to see what next year's model will be like. The OnePlus 5, they're thinking of skipping the OnePlus 4 due to the fact that in China, the number four is a bad luck number. Um, I've been doing my homework on that. I mean, they could come out with that, but from what I'm reading right now and seeing, the OnePlus 4 may be skipped due to that belief and uh, jump right to the OnePlus 5. So we'll see what happens with all that. I don't know. But... Um, Moto Z Play, I mean, just a phenomenal device. Phenomenal, super stoked to have it. Modularity done right, battery king, flash on the front. So here's what you have to look at. Depending on what the prices are right now during the holidays, let's just go with the regular pricing, 439 and 408, okay? And unless they're still offering that 5% extra savings at checkout on the Moto website. But let's just say it's 408. So you're already cheaper on this side of things, okay? The price point is a little less than the OP3T. On the front, you're getting a flash. Even though you got a 16 megapixel camera, when you're in low light situations, taking pics and shooting video, that flash really helps. It really, really does. So I really dig having that. So to me, whether I have that 60 meg, and it's not all about megapixels, we already know that, right? But we're not gonna get too in depth into the camera that way. I, at, as a rookie learning to use my cameras, and I'm having a lot of fun learning, I've always been a fan of a front-facing flash. My Moto X had that, and it's just amazing. Just amazing. The Samsung Galaxy J7 that I'm using right now to do this recording has a front-facing flash. Totally dig it, okay? So I'm taking that. Okay, so a little less, got the flash going on. Um, the, the Super AMOLED display, even though they're Optic AMOLED is basically Super AMOLED, but you're getting a little more from this device in that area. Okay, fingerprint sensors, they're equal. Got three microphones, two microphones. The back cameras, I would say are equal. There's, yeah, they take pretty much the same type of pick and shoot video, but on OP3T, if you shoot a lot of video, you got OIS. Okay, if you're taking a lot of pics, you're, you're gonna sh get great pics. Low light are okay. They're not the best. Well, I would say they're really good. But I would probably lean towards the Moto Z Play on that. But OIS, Optical Image Stabilization. So if that's something you really have to have on your device, this is your device when it comes to that area. Okay, aesthetically, durability-wise, the OP3T with an all-metal device. If I take off my case and I drop this device, I'm gonna get some damage, but if I drop the Moto Z Play, most likely it's gonna be a lot more damage because of the glass back and the glass front. Okay, more, more metal on this device than there is on this, on the Moto Z Play. Okay, but here's the thing. If you're asking me, well, which device would you pick in my opinion, knowing that I am very frugal when it comes to uh, managing my money for this channel. I mean, I make a little bit on YouTube, I save my allowances, I sell devices, bring more money in from that, and I buy devices to bring in and, and go through the reviewing process with those devices to share with you, to help you out making decisions and what you're gonna buy. So I manage my money, I'm very careful with my pennies. A little less, front facing flash, an exquisite display at 1080p Super AMOLED. Takes great picks. Battery King. Battery King. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 standalone device. I'm not really going to see the difference at all compared to the Snapdragon 
821. Both chipsets perform the way they should. You really can't compare that. They just do what they're supposed to do individually with these devices. And that's the way it ought to be. But at the end of the day, if I have to go through the process of managing my money and I only can have one device, I'm saving money over here. I'm getting a little more in a few other areas, especially when it comes to battery life. I would have to go with the Moto Z Play. But if you are a OnePlus fan and those few extra bucks doesn't matter to you, the flash doesn't matter to you, you're still getting a very beautiful display. You're getting a beautiful piece of hardware here. Got OIS, shooting video, camera is decent. Speakers are decent on both of these devices. They're not front facing dual speakers or speaker here and speaker on the bottom, you know, like the like the Echola Pro 3 has an earpiece that doubles up as a speaker and then has a speaker at the bottom right hand. Okay, it's not set up like that. There's just one single speaker on both these devices. Okay, the OP3T has it at the bottom of the device. The Moto Z Play has it right up there, doubles up as an earpiece. So that's, that's fair and even. But there are certain areas that you may want that the OP3T has that you're willing to spend a little more money um, and that's okay with you and you are a OnePlus fan. You're not going to go wrong. You really aren't going to go wrong. But if you are like me in any way, shape, or form when it comes to managing your money and a little less is okay sometimes because really at the end of the day, if it's your only device, you're not going to know it's a little less. But if you decided to go with OP3T, you're making a great choice because that's what you want. That is what you want. So not picking this one up is going to make you very happy. Yes, it will. This is a great device. It's a great device amongst a lot of other great devices out there at the $400 price point range. I'm just telling you where I would go. Okay, but I'm super stoked to have both of them. And most likely they will stay with me. I've considered selling the Moto Z Play. I'm still thinking about it. I don't know for sure. Um, there are a few people interested and, but I have to see where things are going. Um, financially with YouTube and um, with Christmas. I, you know, there's always a little bit of Christmas money that comes in so that could help. So I may not have to sacrifice this device. And you're asking yourself, well, why would you sell that device? Well, because of all the devices I have, there's more folks out there that know about the Moto Z Play than the OP3T. And that's, that's a shame. And that's why I like doing YouTube. That's why I like going on and reviewing devices because I want to talk about unlocked devices. I want to talk about GSM devices. I want to talk about the devices people don't know about. The, the Echo La Pro 3s of the world, the OnePlus 3Ts of the world, the ZT Axon 7s, the ZT Z Max Pros, all these devices that we get in, you know, the Nexus devices that people don't know about. I want them to know so they, it doesn't sound so strange when you you pop up one of those names and they go, what? Uh, well, no, I've heard of Moto though. Yeah, I, I, if you got that for sale, I'll take that. And that and that's that's the process that I go through when talking about devices. You know, the other day I was talking about Alcatel, like, what, what, who's Alcatel? And just like, ugh, and these people are missing out on those other names. And you know what? Those other names are good, okay, they're fine. It's, it is what it is, whether it's Samsung, whether it's an iPhone. Even Google Pixel really isn't known out there, okay? That's, that's, that's a techie device. But here's the thing. When I'm talking about selling a device and I mention these devices, Right away, I get hits up on this Moto Z Play. So if I'm going to sell any and I need the money, this is the one that's going to go. That's the game. That's what that's that's what I got to go through. That's what what's being played here. So ask yourself what you want, what you don't want, what you want to spend your money on. This is an overview, comparison, final review on both these devices. Which device should you buy? You decide. I just gave you my opinion. 
I will be doing another video with the ZTE Axon 7 in a comparison with the OP3T, and then you can decide on that one as well. Okay, and you're probably going to leave feedback on that one in this video <laughs> already. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, everybody, uh, I appreciate your time. Super stoked to be able to get a video out and just... Uh, I miss everyone, man. It's, it's just really hard right now to get to making a lot of videos. So stoked to get this one out. Uh, leave a lot of feedback. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button down there, those little red letters. Become a part of the team. If this is your first time, check out some other videos and you tell me what you think. And if you don't like the video, if you took the time to give me a thumbs down and tell me the video sucks, let me know why it sucks. I really love to have a conversation with you. God bless. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Peace. Till my next video. This is my Project 13. You are my Project 13. I'm out.